You guys, this is Nevo, so random here, coming to you with a real Housewives reunion, uh, season 6, episode 2. Alright, let's just get into it. So, they start off the show with, oh, we don't condone violence, and oh, we we don't, ex you know, we're not going to sit here and let people beat folks up and drag people's hair, but yet, we're going to let people have bullhorns and scepters? Okay. Alright. Andy Cohen, you know, do what you do. And then it was so funny. I guess everybody was trying to figure out what was acceptable or what was supposed to be the right thing to do. I think it was Candy, Phaedra, and Nene. They were like, yeah. It was crazy because they was, um, I guess, sitting... I guess how they view Andy was in the middle. Then you had Cynthia and uh, Kenya. Then you had Candy Fager and uh, Nini. And I guess the right side or whatever was like, yeah, we don't, you know, you kind of provoke the girl, even though Files isn't the answer. Kenny was like, look, if you get up in my face, this right here, no, no, ma'am, no, sir. So <clears throat> that whole thing, to me, I'm just like, um, the, she's what 32 and they're like 44 I'm not saying when you're younger you're supposed to know better I mean you know when you're older you know better but like I don't know like they said the girls provoked you holding bull horns and stuff in their face and then I think somebody said something oh Miss Queen of the Mall Andy was like so uh, do you feel that this was you know that Cynthia that uh I guess uh, Portia was provoked. She was like, well, I don't. I think you're entitled to your own opinion. And no, I don't think Kenya was wrong. I'm just like, okay, Cynthia. But don't worry, you're going to have your time. So I guess Andy gave Kenya her little spy life, I guess, 10 minutes to talk about, oh, this was wrong. And she's doing this. And if she got up in my face and, you know, she proceeded to do what she needed to do, I'm just like, this was last week. Let's move on. So, once all that's done, we get to the antics of Mama Joyce. Like, did anybody else besides me feel like, I don't want to watch this. Like, I'm scared to see what's going to happen. And what's so funny about the whole thing was you brought her on the show. I mean, the reunion. And it was all laugh and giggles, but... I wonder how much they paid her. Cause like she, I mean, everybody was laughing, but like, I swear it was like the most awkwardest laugh. Like, haha, she's so funny and cute. Ooh, she gonna get off this TV screen. Cause we kind of scared to talk in front of her. And, <laughs> and then I think, was it Andy just like, oh, so you, you trying to, um, you're trying to vote or you trying to be a, I guess housewife. She yeah, give me the peach, baby. Give me the peach. I'm just like, all right. All right, and then I don't know. Something was said about her and Candy's money. She was like, "Yeah, Candy gave me seven hundred dollars," and she did not say she wanted to be a stripper. And she applauded Nene for being a stripper. I was like, "Okay, okay, I ain't mad at you, but yeah, you see how my body was? My body like this twenty, well, fifty years ago." And I'm just like, "Wow, y'all, this." I'm in my mind. I'm just like I'm trying not to say nothing bad because it's somebody's mom. But I'm like, okay, you're trying to win back, I guess, viewers because she up to somebody. Oh yeah, people on Twitter talking about I said this and I said that. I was like, okay, Mama Joyce. Like, can we just not give her 15 minutes of this airtime that we need to discuss other things? But you know, hey. So they brought up that, um, <clears throat> and people keep talking. Candy wasn't standing up to her Mama. I was like, oh, she did today because she said. You know, whatever she said about the whole money situation, the whole, uh, yeah, I gave you $700, but you stopped doing this, you stopped doing that, you was gambling. And she was kind of spilling the mama tea, so I was like, yeah, I said she wasn't standing up. I mean, she not going to cuss on my mouth, which I don't feel you should, but, hey, go candy. And the whole thing with, <laughs> now, why would Andy be like, so, Phaedra, you haven't said anything yet. How you feel about this? And then... Why did um what's that what what is it? Mama Joyce check Cynthia? She was like, Oh yeah, Cynthia. Apologize. I was like, Ooh, 
angry. She playing the mama card, making her feel good. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama Joyce. I'm so sorry that I messed with you. You are right. I am wrong. And I'm going to shut up with my breasts together and poised. You can continue, Mama Joyce. I apologize. I don't know nothing about your situation. That's right. Stay over there. Next question. Next page, Andy Cohen. I was like, okay, girl. All right. And I... <sighs> yeah, this reunion was a mess. So after all that is said and done, oh girl, get off the stage. We can all rest in peace and just be like, yes, Mom Joyce is gone. That woman is something else. So then we get into. I forgot y'all left my stuff at home, but man, can we give a shout out? Can we give a shout out to Todd's Waves? The mugs is on swim. He be on their pomade. That uh, them wave brushes and that hot water, just you know, that hot water rag, just put on your head, just make them up. Just I'm like this mess I got going right here. <laughs> but yeah, this second uh reunion, it was it was cute, you know. It was I can't I'm ready for to see Peter, but we gonna we gonna move it on along. I look, I'm be like the pastor. We won't be here before you long, y'all. Sorry if this is not as great as the first one was. I'm kind of in the room where you have to halfway be quiet. But so on to Cynthia and Nini. So nasty, so rude, so nasty, so rude. <laughs> so Cynthia finally got her, you know, I don't know, her courage. If it was, if this was Dragon Tales, her courage badge would be glowing. She was like, oh. So, yeah, Cynthia was just like, yeah, Nini, um, you don't treat me with respect. And she was like, the whole thing is respect. I'm a good friend of you. You're a good friend of me. But the respect level isn't there. If I was call your man a bitch, you wouldn't talk to me ever. And I'm pre I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's right. Then she said nothing. Um. Uh, Nini, she called. She got your card this time. It was a read for Cynthia, and I'm very proud of her. <sighs> Poor thing is off the show, though. <laughs> Poor thing. Dang. Dang, Cynthia. So, Cynthia commences to saying everything, and now she cries. She's like, Nini just don't understand that I'm just I'm trying to be a better person, and she's not the greatest friend to me, and I just want everything to be better, and... She goes on to be like, yeah, Nene, uh, you want to talk about people being dirty, but you go on Twitter and throw shade. And and then Nene was like, I have a vlog. I have a vlog. I was like, but you're supposed to be a rich, right? And you, you have a vlog? Like, is this before or after you got done with Glee in a new normal? Bloop, as she would say. But yeah, after that, I was just like, okay. So yeah, Cynthia got her little airtime to do what she wanted to do, and then um, I don't know what happened. I think it was this part is where Nini was, you know, talking back to uh, Cynthia. She was like, I guess in awe, not in awe, but just like didn't really care. She was, and <laughs> Cynthia tripped out. She's like, yeah, even though, uh, even if what's her name, even if Nini. Doesn't want to accept my apology. I, you know, I feel as if we're okay. But I still love you, even if she does want to roll her eyes and make those funny faces. Because <laughs> you know that's how Nini does when she don't want to hear nothing, acting like a damn child. Not all that bull crap. But yeah, Saturday, I think Andy. You know, Andy gonna throw his little two cent shade in. He was up there like, so Nini, you do seem. Uh, you know, unharmed or unaffected. She was like, excuse me, Andy? And they just kind of went back and forth. I forgot what he said, but she was arguing. I was like, girl, you better stop arguing with Andy. You'll be off this show too, and it will be Kenya taking your place. Ooh, with your nest hair. Ooh. So, yeah, this, <clears throat> after that was said, Cynthia was like, look, can we just squash this? So, the next Real Housewives uh, reunion is probably going to be for the best. And I cannot wait to see that move. It's going to be everything in life. Because we're going to have... Uh, who we going to have? Apollo. Why everybody dressed up with Apollo? Apollo got this damn king thing on him. Like he going to the strip club. And yeah, I can't wait to see it. And uh, Kenya and Nene going to get into it. 
once again, this is probably going to be real epic. So, you guys, excuse me for my lackluster, you know, not enthusiastic as the first one was. Because I just, I love the fight between Portia and well, it wasn't really a fight. But, hey, we don't condone violence, though, right? All right, you guys. Until next time, I'll see you next Sunday when we have the finale of the real world. Oops, of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Peace out.